Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Weekend Sport. I am your host, Maskepe Matsabane. Today we'll be talking about Bafana Bafana's Alf Afcon qualifier against Gambia before touching on Mamelodi Sundowns and Dikwena. We'll also reflect on the passing away of the world's greatest boxer, Muhammad Ali. It's that time again for a very familiar exercise when long-suffering Bafana Bafana fans pull out the calculators to crunch the numbers about the national team. Sheikh Mashaba's charges are paying a visit to Gambia in a bid to qualify for AFCON 2017, but as it's been the case in the past, their fate is not in their own hands. Nothing less than a win is required at the Independence Stadium in Bakau, what will raise hopes of millions of South Africans will be a positive result for Cameroon. A win or a draw will suffice when the indomitable Lions take on Mauritania, then Mashaba's destiny for AFCON 2017 will be in his hands as all he will need is a win over Mauritania here at home. This could give South Africa a rating as best place number two in comparison with teams in all the other groups, so a number of favours need to go Mashaba's way. Cameroon beating or drawing against Mauritania and Bafana needing to win both their remaining matches against Gambia and against Mauritania. The other favour, however, is if Gambia and Mauritania both defeat Cameroon, that will also go a long way in giving Bafana a good chance of booking a trip to Gabon in 2017. Sports Desk, ANN7. Uh, there you can see Bafana Bafana, they have a very tough situation today. Uh, they, they haven't won a single match in, in, in their qualifiers. The last three matches ended up in, in draws and then they lost to lowly ranked Mauritania, you know, something that uh, is unheard of in South Africa. And then you look at the, the, the points that we have, Cameroon at top of the log, they have already qualified for, for the Africa Cup of Nations. And then second is Mauritania, who miraculously beat Bafana Bafana. No one knew about them until they beat Bafana Bafana. And then third place there is Bafana Bafana, two matches. Uh, to go, they've, 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 they've never won a match, they, threw, they drew three times as I've already said, lost to Mauritania, and then there's Gambia, who they are going to play today, which is a match that really uh, uh, South Africa has to win, but we'll see what uh, you know, Sheikhs Mashaba will pull out there. Uh, we'll also look at the team that uh, Bafana Bafana coach Sheikhs Mashaba has decided to go with today. Uh, we've got Itumelen Kune obviously in goals, uh, he's going to be captain in the side, and then the back four, we've got uh, two Manuel Sundowns players there. Right back is uh, Ramatlom Patele. Left back, we've got Tebo Langeman with Rivaldo Kotia partnering uh, Mulomwandao Matoho at the heart of defence. Something that I'm looking at there, it, doesn't, it looks like they're going to be playing with a 4-2-3-1 formation because Andy Lejali and Tom Pogeka are just going to sit in front of the back four with uh, Kigen Doli on the right, Mandra Masango on the left, Tulane Serrero just in front of them and then we're going to have Tamsang Lakawuza uh, up front uh, to, to get us the goals. Now joining me in studio, I've got uh, someone who has played quite a number of games for Bafana Bafana, I think 35 in total. Everywhere he goes, they call him Simona Monane. Where I come from, I knew him as Tarek Yaofora. Surprise Muriri, how are you? I'm good, thanks. And how are you, my brother? I'm doing very well. It's, it's good to be spending time with uh, legends here. I can call you a legend. And don't, don't, don't stop me, don't correct me. It's, what I'm saying is correct. Bafana Bafana against Gambia, things look to be a bit tough there, they are away. What, what, what do you think needs to happen? You know, you are in a difficult position like this one, you know, you've played away in, in tough matches like this. In terms of mentality, what, what do you think needs to happen from Bafana Bafana's perspective? Mm, especially with the, with the qualifiers, because as you can see, Cameroon has already played and they've got 11 points. Mm -hmm. and. Mm -hmm. It's impossible for us to get to 11, uh, yeah. to 11 points True. because we've got two games yeah. left, three points. We can only get to nine points, of which is makes things difficult for us. So uh, the game against uh, Gambia is, is, is a game that uh, we have to pr play for pride and have to make sure that we go out there and make sure that we, we win the game because uh, we cannot say no, we will never qualify. It's, it's a pride at stake. We're playing Gambia. We have to give our best. But... but for, for, from, from, I, I know that this is the national team, but I mean, from Sundown's perspective, in, in the past we didn't see too many Sundown's players in the national team. Coach Pizzo Simani always talked about that, and then now we see it's changing. We've got, you know, the, the, the fullbacks are from Sundown's, you've got Lompo as well. It must be nice for your team. Yeah, it's very good. If, if you see in, in, in that team, we've got um, Patele, we've got uh, Langaman, we've got Lompo, we've got Kigan. Mm -hmm. it, it, it looks good because. Uh, it shows that uh, as a team, as Sundowns, we, 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 we have done well this season. And 
you, 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 with the selection, uh, the coach has justified it. And I think maybe uh, the guys are with them. I wish everybody was here. Yeah, I'm not looking at the Sundowns. We've got a good team there. I think we'll, we'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, now I'd like to move to, to, to Manuel Sundowns. Yeah. You guys are, are the champions. Masanda mm. Wana, congratulations. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you didn't play too many matches as you would have liked, you know. Yeah. But 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 I, I'd like to speak, you know, about you because too many players that we speak of, we speak to here, they always tell us, mm. you know, the influence that Surprise has on the team. Mm. He's been there, he knows everything else. Yeah. I, I, I'd like to know, you know, from you, Surprise, uh, uh, when so. when you were there and when you won all these championships there with the team, how 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 was it for you? Was it was it a, a tough thing to do? Was it was it easy? Was it difficult? Sorry, um, uh, there, there, there seemed to be a, a bit of an, an, an issue with the surprise mic. Something that will be will be sorted out just now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Surprise. Just yeah. just you know back to to, to, to the issues here. Uh, we've got uh, you know this team. They've won the league. We've got Karma. He's been you know named uh, player of the season. During your, 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 you know, when you had a fantastic season with Sundowns, 2007, I think, mm. you were named player of the season. You scored, I think, almost the same number of goals as, as, as Karma. When, when you see him doing this well, you've had, you know, maybe uh, an influence in how he's been playing. How is it for you? Is it, it's, it's, it must be, you know, a pride as well. Yeah, look, uh, to be honest with you, uh, the, boy, the boy has, work, has really worked hard uh, this season. And you, you, you can see that... He, he really wanted to, to be counted at the end of the season and obviously it helped us as a team and, and to see a young boy like Kama doing well and working hard and obviously uh, <clears throat> realizing his dream of, of, of helping the team to win the league and becoming one of the best players in South Africa is really uh, encouraging and I hope a lot of youngsters uh, can learn a lot from him and for me as, as, as as a player that is playing with, with him and, and as a senior player, it, it, it really uh, makes me happy because uh, you, you, you are sitting be, be there looking at this boy and, and you can see that he's got potential. And, and, and somewhere there and there, uh, goals were not coming and, and you just have to keep on encouraging him because uh, you, you cannot uh, <clears throat> let, him, let him think that... Uh, he, he is not better than what, what he was doing. So we were always behind him, and, but credit must go to him. We will never take credit. Credit of must course, go to him. Of course. He has really uh, worked, worked very well. And, and when, when we speak to them, you know, just before we had a problem with your mic there, when, when we speak to you know, players like Kama, Keegan, I, I, I had uh, uh, Mabunda the other time here in studio, and, and they talk about you know, the influence that you have on the team. They always, you know, always talk about the coach and then they reference surprise. Why do you think, you know, what do you think is the reason for that? Why is it that, you know, all these players who come to Sundowns, your take was, they always talk about surprise. They always talk about the kind of respect that you have. What, what do you do, you know, at Sundowns? You know, other than you, you haven't been playing, but they say there's something that you do there. Uh, there, there, there's not, there's nothing much that I'm doing. I think you're just being modest. <laughs> no, there's nothing <laughs> much. No, 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 no. I mean, you have to give credit to the to the boys. Of they are course. working hard. They are, they, they are really doing their best. And for me, if I'm not playing, is to is to help them and and encourage them because mm. uh, we we have been around. We have played the game and we still want to play. But if the boys are doing well and and and, and the coach prefer to play mm. them, and you have to give, we have to give support and and and. and and courage and uh, after what happened this season and one can only say oh well done well done to the boys because at the end of the day it's about the team it's not about individuals when you look back surprise uh, the time that you guys won all those championships and then you look at now where you've won two in in three years the, the, the kind of differences because obviously the players are different the coaches are different but but in terms of the teams, in terms of the mentality, in terms of the playing style, what do you think is similar to what you had back then and what, what are the main differences to what you had back then? I think uh, it, it will be unfair to, to, to compare the, mm. the two teams. Uh, but w one thing that uh, is common between the two is the mm. camaraderie between the, uh, in, in the team. In the team, yeah. The yeah. camaraderie between, uh, in the team, from the team before and this, uh, I think is the same. It's the, it's the only thing that 
kept us going. Not the only thing, but some of the, th the things that kept us going. Because you can see that as a team, whether you are playing or you are not playing, one thing that we have in mind is to win the championship, is to see that the, the team, the team uh, we put something on, on the table. Because uh, you, you, you can really see, when, even after when we score, you can see everyone is happy, mm -hmm. jumping on the bench, is on the stand, in the, in the pitch. So the camaraderie, the camaraderie is, is one thing that kept us going. And then now you've, you've got another chance to go back to, to, to the Champions League after some team decided to fail someone who was ineligible. Baba Mubar and Almatha is one of the first downs. But Baba Mubar, I know the laws of the game have to be followed. When, it means now you guys are not going to have rest. You're going to be playing throughout, and then the league is going to open, and then you're going to be playing again uh, in the new season plus the new Champions League season. How is the planning in terms of that? When are you going back to, 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 to camp and then start preparing for this match? For the uh, next match? Our first game for the group stages is, is on the 17th. Mm. Uh, I think it's on the 17th. And we are going back to training next week on the 8th. And we'll, we'll start preparing for the game on the 17th. And, and you know, as a, as a player, you'll want to rest more. But uh, this situation, uh, I prefer this because you don't have to go through the, the, the hectic pre-seasons mm -hmm. where you, 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 you have to make sure yeah, that you are in good condition well as a player. Anyway, you yeah, you about. understand, you go home, you eat everything that <laughs> yeah, they give you. Yeah. So this is it's ideal, even though the, the, our families will love to be with, with us mm -hmm. uh, a little bit longer mm -hmm. uh, because we, we are forever away when the season is open. But this is ideal. And uh, with getting a second chance to go back to the Champions League, I think we just have to grab it in both hands. And this is an opportunity for Sundowns to, to make sure that we, we, we test ourselves because this is an experience that no one will give you. And, mm -hmm. and it's been a while without uh, playing in the, in the group stages. So mm -hmm. even the coach, coach is excited, the players are excited. We just have to give our best. Mm. And then I've got just two questions and I would like for you to just answer them quickly. The first one I'll just take over from the other one. <laughs> with all your money when all got your home I'd like to know about that and you only played I think about 10 minutes this past season scoring one goal can we still see you continuing to play or are you gonna retire after the end of this season <laughs> no 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 uh, the, the the retirement village says uh, I went there they said no no not yet, not yet. they sent me back <laughs> they send and back. yeah they sent me back so mm. I will continue playing mm. uh, yeah well thanks for joining us a present all the best in the Champions League and in the new season no, thanks very much, and thanks for having me. All right, no problem. No. Uh, that was Surprise Moriri from Mamelodi Sundowns. A very humble man, one of the best players that I've watched since I was in high school, one of the play uh, best players that I've had to interview. Moving to some sad news now, the man who called himself the greatest even before he won a single world title is no more. Mohammed Ali, the three-time world heavyweight champion, passed on on Friday. Muhammad Ali was remembered in tributes worldwide for his iconic fight for social justice as well as his legendary boxing battles following his death at the age of 74. The likes of Manny Pacquiao and many other boxers took to social media to pay their respects. George Foreman, Ali's most famous knockout victim from the Rumble in the Jungle, noted Ali's other main rival Joe Frazier in tweeting, Ali, Frazier and Foreman were one guy. A part of me slipped away. The greatest piece. We lost a giant. Filipino fighter Manny Pacquiao also added his tribute, saying, Boxing benefited from Muhammad Ali's talent, but not as much as mankind benefited from his humanity. U.S. civil rights movement leader Jesse Jackson also paid his tribute for the late legend, describing Ali as a champion in the ring, a hero beyond the ring, and a person who sacrificed his careers for principles and an anti-war prophet. He meant and means so much to us. A champion in the ring, a hero beyond the ring, a sacrifice to career for principles and anti-war prophet. Uh, he is the, the voice of our time. Minister of Sports Fikile Mbalula described Ali as a world icon who inspired millions across the globe. 
He also mentioned that the lead former president Nelson Mandela was also inspired by Muhammad Ali. He was a genius. And uh, as much as the time Muhammad Ali fought, we were babies. But it's like it was yesterday. That's the story of a champion. Like he said, take strides in your life to train hard in order to live a life of a champion for the rest of your life. And that is exactly what Muhammad Ali is uh, to humanity the world over. He was a global icon. Even Nelson Mandela said that Muhammad Ali was his hero. He was a hero to us. He was a hero to, to many people. He was an idol. May his soul rest in peace. The champion is to be buried in his hometown of Louisville, Kentucky. Ali had been living in the Phoenix area with his fourth wife, Loni, whom he married in 1986. He was survived by nine children, seven daughters and two sons. Maskepi Mazawani, ANN7 Sports Desk. I, I think the, one of the main things that I remember about Muhammad Ali was when he said, I'm young, I'm fast, I'm handsome, and I can't possibly be beaten. I'm sure uh, the coach of Platinum Stars, who's joining me now, uh, Kevin Johnson has seen it all. Clovis Holel, I don't know how old you were when, when Ali was still fighting. I know I wasn't even there. Coach, I'm going to start with you. Your, your, your memories of Ali, I mean, on this day that, that he has passed on, what do you remember of this man? As a, as a, as a, a probably a senior citizen for Muhammad Ali, the one I liked was when he said he makes medicine sick. <laughs> <laughs> but in saying that, uh, you've you got to give uh, credit to what he's done for, for, for world athletes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And at the same time, a lot of, he opened our eyes towards black and white. He was just not, he was not only a boxer. Of course, of course. But uh, from where I come, where I sit, there's a guy in Soweto, I think his name is Joe something. I forget his surname, mm. but he was Muhammad Ali's number one fan during those times. And I know for a fact, it was in the papers, he traveled, I think, to three or four of his fights personally. So wherever Joe is, I'm sure he's, 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 he's grieving. But uh, from for what I know, I, I can take my hat off to Muhammad Ali. Mm. So I, I, I know boxing might not be your thing, but I mean, on this day when... Uh, a giant like this one, Muhammad Ali, the greatest in the world has passed on. I'm sure you also have some words. Yeah, I can simply say it's a sad day for, 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 for the world. Yeah, I don't know much about him, but what I can say is that when you're in camp, yeah. could use this uh, motivation to talk, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah, just to get us going. I, I see. Yeah, if, if you don't know much about Muhammad Ali, then it's higher. Mugita Wencha. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to come back to you, your season. You left, you came back. When you left, you finished second on the lock. You lost the league by just one point. Now you came back, you are third on the lock. Are you happy with what you have done, considering you were fighting relegation before you, you know, when you took over the team again? Yes, I think uh, in a lot of moments, and Sox is sitting next to me, uh, you, you pay testament to that. I think uh, we, we did very well in saving relegation mm -hmm. and knowing that we were a better team at the end of the 2014-2015 season. We were a better team than where we were. And coming out for the 2015-2016 season, uh, we had a good, good, good pre-season. Mm -hmm. I thought we brought in some, a few players and uh, they were able to gel with a lot of the other players. But uh, our biggest thing was to get a good performance on the pitch mm -hmm. and uh, to play according to a philosophy, but at the same time build, build a team that we're able to build on to it for the future. And uh, we've achieved that and more. And the fact that we ended up third is credit to the players' ability, to their staying power in the league, and uh, they got to take the credit for, for carrying out the instructions, for, for being as good a professional athletes as, as, as a lot of them were during the course of the season. Yes, we had our ups and downs, mm -hmm. but uh, we're trying to rectify those because those are the learning curves that we're going to go forward with. Mm -hmm. And then, Clo, the, 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 the season you've had, this season I think you played about 15 league, 14 league matches and then you had one uh, in the Netbank Cup. That was, you know, uh, I think it was an improvement from when you came in. You, you, you played 10, but I think this is an injury also played a role. 
the, the, the amount of minutes that you had on the pitch, and then when you look at your fitness, when you look at your sharpness, are, are, you, are you happy with, with, with what you've done? I, I know footballers like saying there's, there's room for improvement. <laughs> sure, Maske. Yeah, I can simply say that. Yeah, you know, football is a, it's a process thing, you know. It's mm -hmm. not something that just happened now, now, you know. You might have your own things that you want to achieve in football, but there are certain things that you need to follow, you know. Mm -hmm. Look, yeah, I had a, uh, personally, I didn't have a, a good season. But it's something that I, somebody can work on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just about the game, you know. The game is not like uh, according to how uh, your desire, where you, you, you wish to do things, and things that they might be happen. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm saying, it's, it's a process that I, I had to th uh, go through. And yeah, personally, I, I, I can simply say it was a learning curve for me. I can only build from this, and I'm a stronger person. Now. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then playing under this man, I know uh, our bicycle, um, uh, I'm, I'm sure there must be you know, elements that he brought to your game, things that, that he has helped you improve. Look, look, personally I can simply say the man sitting next to me is one of the, those greatest coaches that South Africa has ever produced. You know? South Africa needs this kind of a man. He's a father, he's not just a coach. Uh -huh. He goes and into a player to know a person, personally, even beyond that. So I can simply say he must just carry on the way he is, you know. Mm -hmm. And he mustn't change, and he must just stick to what he believes in his philosophy. Mm -hmm. That's how football is supposed to be. And, and, and I think for the viewers at home who may not know much you know, about, about what uh, Kevin Johnson has, has actually achieved, this is the man who gave us Stephen Pina, in case you didn't know. In case you're thinking those guys in the studio are just talking about things they don't know, this is the man who gave us Stephen Pina. And, and when I think of Stephen Pina, coach, I, I, I become a bit emotional here because in giving us Stephen Pina, you try to give us again the Masibuza and Zongo that we thought the world will get to know, the world will get to appreciate. But again, things didn't go right, coach. I'd, I'd like to know, I don't know if I'm putting you in a spot here, but I'd like to know, what, 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 what seems to be the, the problem? What seems to be the major thing with this boy who's so talented but just can't get things going? I think uh, Sox maybe can give you an insight into the football hunger. Mm -hmm. And I've, I, I've, 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 I've said it uh, before, I, I don't think I need to speak about this, but I think there's, there's too many South African players mm. who don't realize the African dream, if you understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. South African players who don't realize the African dream. Because when you look at Africans and you look at the Togolese, the Nigerians, the Zimbabweans, the Zambians, Whenever they play a football game, to them there's always a window of opportunity. Of course, of course, yes. There's always something that can happen, whether they're playing in the street or whether they're playing in a full, a packed stadium. And uh, fortunately or unfortunately for South Africans, we don't see that window of opportunity. And uh, Sox will tell you that uh, during the course of the season, we had a lot of times like that. Mm. when uh, the team would say, don't we see the opportunity? Unfortunately, he did, he did not see the opportunity. And uh, the rest is history. Things just didn't go right there. Yeah, he didn't see the opportunity. And, and, and in, in, in situations where we have you know, those kind of players, I mean, this is one we can talk about in past tense, but, but how, how do we then get to deal with this kind of situation or maybe help prevent this kind of situations from happening? Because I know there's closer Holela here who goes around with this tournament. He tries to get players, youngsters. Now they come through, they get to have all the money. They get to have all the big houses. How do we then get them to be focused, to understand these opportunities? From what I, what I gathered, even Sox played at all one moment in the season mm. whereby he tried to help Zongo, if I'm right. You understand? And the fact that Sox has got a foundation, it gives you a lot on where he comes from. And this is for me the most important thing. Mm. His development is not taking a ball, going on the pitch mm. 10 hours a day, mm. 10,000 hours playing. No. Mm. I think the development is more to do with a lot of things that happens as you are growing up. Mm. And if you are growing up in an academy, then there's got to be certain checks and balances in, in place mm -hmm. so that you don't lose focus 
on what you are going to do later on in life. Yeah, yeah. And uh, fortunately, we were able to do that with Stephen Pina, mm -hmm. Brett Evans, mm -hmm. Dylan Shepard. Mm -hmm. They all come from an yeah, academy. It seems to be quite long, Coach. We can see there's, 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 there's <laughs> a lot of those players come from an academy environment. And in saying that, I have to mm. give credit okay. to the people who I worked with. I'll, 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 I'll have to cut you there. Close to you give us socks in 30 seconds. Your tournament this year, where are we having it? What's going to be happening? Yeah, this year all goes to, to Malaysia. Same pitch, which is Grand, Black, uh, Black Rivers Grand. Mm -hmm. Whereby, you know, yeah, let me just thank uh, the community, the support that they're showing. Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it's one of those on its own kind, you know. Mm -hmm. We've got girls involved, which are doing petition for, for us. Mm -hmm. And we also got the under 50s, who they are also competing. Mm -hmm. Now in June, uh, the, the boys that won, the players of, of, of the, the tournament and leading goal scorers, we're going to give them their, their winter clothes, mm -hmm. for, which is school uniform, winter, winter school uniform. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's nice. Yeah, nice and doing some charity on 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 uh, on our winners, the same team that won it yesterday uh, last year. Mm -hmm. So this year we we'll still going to 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 them and doing the same thing with them. And I want to thank Miropa mm -hmm. for getting involved and helping us, you know. And also I want to thank the. the but I've been in Gulu. <laughs> I love to cut thank you there because you, you, my producer in my ear is, is trying to kill me. Mm. Yeah. But I can, what I can tell the people at home is that Squama Saman the one you see at Baroka, he came from the Tlosa Holla tournament. And when I went there, I saw some very pretty ladies who, one of them, went to Mamelodi Sundowns as Miss Mamelodi Sundowns. So you don't want to miss this one. This was our live broadcast of sports at the weekend from our Midland studios. From me, Maskepe Matsabani, let's have a great evening.